Well, now we want to get to our other top story tonight. A U.S. airstrike has killed an Islamic State member in Afghanistan. This is after the group ISIS-K claimed responsibility for a terrorist attack at Kabul airport that killed 13 U.S. Marines. Tonight, we have learned that one of those Marines was killed in that attack is from our area. 20-year-old Lance Corporal Jared Schmitz is from Wentzville, Missouri. The Fort Zumwalt South grad was just a baby when his two decade when this two decade war started. Our Justina Cornell spoke to a family spokesperson learning more about his devotion to our country. Jared is one of the most loving people you're ever going to meet. Just an amazing kid. Dedication is the word continuously used to describe Jared Schmitz. He is way dedicated to his family. He loves his siblings and his mom and dad. Committed to his family and this country. He was very dedicated to his country, very dedicated to being a Marine. Patrick Sweeney is best friends with Jared's dad. Could have been like my other son. Watching Jared grow up to be the man he is today and witnessed his devotion to become a Marine. Before he even enlisted, he was out working out every day, preparing to go into the Marine Corps. He just wanted to serve his country and do it well, and he did. That man also became his brother, Sweeney, as a Marine himself. Well, the day that he told me that he wanted to be a Marine, I smiled. I was so happy for that. And I was very proud of him. Sweeney knows firsthand the risk that this job takes. For Jared, though, he loved his country to no end, even risking his own life for the sake of others. Unfortunately, Jared was one of the 13 U.S. service members killed at the Kabul airport in Afghanistan. Pray for the troops. Pray for them. Pray for the kids on the ground. And pray for this family and the families of the other Marines and the Navy corpsmen. Today, though, Sweeney isn't just feeling the heaviness of grief. He's also honored and proud to be brothers in arms with the man he now labels as a hero. It hurts, but we'll honor him and love him. And he's a hero. That's that's all I can say. Justina Cornell, five on your side. Well, right now, the U.S. military is scrambling to get thousands out of Afghanistan by Tuesday night. That is President Biden's deadline to pull out all U.S. troops and end this 20-year war in Afghanistan. The mission there being performed is dangerous, and it's, uh, now it's come with a significant loss of American personnel. And uh, But it's a worthy mission because they continue to evacuate uh, folks out of that region, out of the airport. A group known as ISIS-K has claimed responsibility for the attack. National security officials say they do expect more attacks.